So first we're going to demonstrate how a distributed file system looks from the Windows side. So here's a typical namespace that's uh, already created in Windows uh, it's for our production domain here, actually, grouplogic.com slash production DFS. You can see that there's various targets here. Uh, the example here is case files, which is on our server called Parafay. On the Extreme ZIP administrator side, all we need to do is to add this namespace is click the Add button in the administrator. Uh, in this case, I'll paste in my uh, namespace here, click OK. The Extreme ZIP service goes out, queries the domain to determine what the namespace is, and you can see that it has found a number of targets that go into this namespace. These two targets are AFP because uh, Extreme ZIP is smart enough to know that both of these targets have Extreme ZIP running on them. Uh, if you had other namespaces that, or other targets in your namespace, excuse me, that were using SMB, you could set SMB. Or if you had specific targets that you didn't want your Macintosh users to use at all, you could click off and those namespaces would not appear. Really, that's it on the administrator side for configuring a namespace. Very simple, very easy. And um, now I'm going to show uh, in the next movie how to do it from the client side.